Speaking of William and Mary, Marcus Thornton, the star of the tribe's basketball team the past several years, was introduced today as part of the Boston Celtics four-player rookie class. The 45th pick in the draft, Marcus impressed Celtics president Danny Ainge, and as Nathan Epstein reports, Marcus is confident and ready to take the next step. These days, he's almost at a loss for words. It's still just a crazy feeling to be around all this and, you know, to have this opportunity to keep playing the game I love. Last season, Marcus Thornton set the record as the all-time leading scorer in William & Mary history. Last week, he became the first tribe player in 30 years taken in the NBA draft, selected 45th overall by the Boston Celtics. It's crazy, you know, when you're, when you're um, in high school, you know, you're a kid, I played two years of varsity, you know, uh, I'm just trying to get to college, you know, get a scholarship. Really wasn't thinking about the NBA at that point, so um, it's amazing to kind of look back on it now and see how far everything has come and, you know, the hard work pays off. The euphoria is now wearing off and it's time for the underdog Thornton to do what he's done all his life, prove himself. It's all about you know making that adjustment and being able to do it well. You know, so for me, um, again, someone who's going to do everything they ask, you know, contribute as much as possible, continue to work and try to expand my game. An explosive, high-volume shooter in college, he still has an uphill battle to see playing time in Boston, at least this season. The Celtics roster is guard-heavy and now includes first-round draft pick Terry Rozier out of Louisville. But if need be, he says he's ready to expand his game overseas. I can't overlook that. You know, it's a part of the process. And for me, you know, I want to be in the NBA, but everyone's route is different. You know, so maybe I do go somewhere else for a little bit or I stay. You know, it's unclear uh, right now. But again, for me, I take things one step at a time. You know, uh, just look at the challenge that's right in front of me. You know, try to conquer that and uh, just try to build a foundation. He'll start two-a-day practice sessions tomorrow. For the Sports Wrap, I'm Nathan Epstein.